Hi, welcome back to the channel. And yes, you did read the description in the video correctly. I have treated myself to a Fanatec Club Sport DD, the 11 used for me to one, not the extreme. Um, yes, I've got a PlayStation, but I never use it for sim racing or anything like that. So I didn't think it was worth getting that. Um, so the first part of the video is the unboxing. And then the second part is my actual first reactions of, of trying it. Because until I turned it on in the video, I hadn't tried. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. First of all, I will just apologise about the quality of the unboxing part of the video. Um, for some mad reason, I thought I could do it with one hand holding the phone and the other hand trying to do the unboxing. So the quality is not as good as I'd like. So I do apologise about that, but we'll now get into the, the whole video. Right, so that's what I've got at the moment. My CSL DD 8 new to me to one with the uh, BMW wheel on at the moment. And... I've got my turn wheel and my new toy has turned up today. So, what do we have in this box? There, Fun Attack Club Sport DD. So, it's the 12 Newton meter one, I haven't gone for the extreme one. Um, Yes, I know Fanatec have been getting a lot of stick recently, but I ordered this Monday last week. It's Wednesday today and it's turned up. So, and I'm in the UK there in Germany. So, yeah, very pleased with the speed of getting it to me. So, I'll pull this out of the box and we'll have a look at what's inside. Yeah, it's a bit hard to do in one hand. But sorry about the shaking. I've only using my phone. So. One. All right. Sorry, I had to use both hands to get that out. So, yeah, right, we've got what's this, this? cables like it. Or maybe not. Let's see what we've got in the plastic. Yeah. DD. Cool. The 12 Newton meter one, as I've already mentioned, um, and also highlighted with the red ring at the, or the yellow ring around the back. Sorry. So yeah, it's heavy. I will say that much. Cool. It's already got the QR2 fitted to it, so absolutely brilliant. Right. I will now strip strip that one down, take it off the rig. Um, obviously, I'm going to need both hands to do that. So. Um, I will come back once this new wheelbase is attached to the rig. Oh, before I do, I have actually also ta um, taken out the power brick for the CSL DD. So that's the power brick for the CSL DD with the cable. And that is the power brick for the, D the Club Sport DD. That's a slight difference there, isn't it? Right, I've got the um, Club Sport DD now fixed onto the, the rig so I have turned it on just to calibrate things and everything like that but I haven't gone into any of the games so um, yeah so let's turn it on Ooh. right we're in the AWRC now um, right before we go into the time trial I'll just show you the options that I've got. What's button number one? That one. Right, so. For some reason also, it comes up as a Fanatec CSL DD. Whether it's just that the game hasn't been updated with this new type of wheel yet, or wheelbase yet, I, I don't know. Um, which is probably the case. 
right, yeah, everything's on 100%. Um, I can guarantee you that will probably be changed. So let's go into a time trial. Let's go into one that we know. It's going to be interesting. Start slight left, 60. Good luck. Yeah, I think I'm going to need it. Right, here we go. Now I've turned the ghost off. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Slight left, 60. Small crest, 80. Slight left, 30. Oh my word. 80. Okay. Slowing bump, yeah. 90. Things won't be staying at 100%, I can tell you that, mate. Oh my god. Crest, up, four right. Oh, that's very long. Oh, my word. Into crest, 80. Three left, 100. Turn square right, unseen, 30. Oh, my word. Four right, cut, ooh, ooh, 30. Oh, ooh, 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 yeah. Three left. Up to right, short of a crest, 100. Give me an alpha, yeah. Left. Half long, 30, three right press, 140. Going from the PSLDD to this, jump, 40, jump, it's an amazing press, difference. Jump, 50, five right, tightens to three. Oh, press, and small crest, to six left, into bump, and crest, into crest, break, 50, to two right, into oh, six left. 40. Long crest, 70. Slight left, 60. Small jump, and late five left, tightens into crest, and six right, opens long. Oh my word. Well, actually, while I'm at that, I can turn the volume down a little bit. There you go. Cool. Yeah, that's. 50. Five left, 40. 100%. Right of the crest, tightens three, last junction, and left of the jump, 50. Right, oh my word. Break, 50, caution, three right. left, sharp of the crest, 30. Oh, the forces on that is amazing. Right, um, let's go back to the service area. And then I'll, I'm going to have to reduce the force on that by quite a lot, actually. Um, yeah, that at 100% is way, way too much. If we bring that down to 60, let's bring, let's bring it all down to, say, 60. There you go. I think it's going to be a lot of fiddling about to get it to... Something that's comfortable. Collision. Leave that on self lock. Soft lock, sorry. Let's have another go at that. Start slight left, 60. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Slight left, 60. Oh, that's better. Crest, 80. Slight left, 30. Slight right, 80. Slowing up, 90. One left at junction, 30. Crest and four right, opens very long. Into crest, 80. Three left. Yeah, I'm still getting a lot of detail coming through. Square right, unseen, 30. Got that a little bit wrong. Four right, cut, 30. Three left. I'm not having my hands ripped out my hat. Off the wheel. Five left, half long, 30. Three right to the crest, 140. Oh, too much look. Left of a big Yeah, you can feel all the, the bumps in the... Small jump, 50. Five right, tightens. Into three left of the crest. And small crest. Six left. It's a bump. And crest. 
to crest, break, 50, turn, 2 right, into 6 left, 40. Oh. Long crest, 70. Slight left, yeah. 60, small jump, and late 5 left, tightens, into crest, and 6 right, opens long. Tightens, 4, 50. Oh, I've done it again. 5 left, 40. 5 right of a crest, tightens 3, pass junction, and left of a jump, 50. Right of a big crest, break, 50. Caution, 3 left, sharp of a crest, 30. 3 right, into crest, into 5 left, 40. Oh. 5 right, short of a crest, 70. 6 left, through junction, tightens, 40. Right of a big jump, 90. Slight right, 60, 6 right to the crest, opens. Yeah. I didn't think that adding the extra four newton meters onto the PSL DD would actually be that noticeable. Because that's all it is, really. It's an extra four newton meters on top of the CSL DD. But the detail that you can feel, just that couple of steps more. That, that, yeah. I'm impressed with that. Okay, 100%, it was way too much. And yes, I've got to settle about with the, the actual um, settings in here. I've got to fetch, you know, ch change these about, you know. Um, but that, yeah, that's impressive. Right, let's get on to iRacing and have a go with that. Right, we're in iRacing now. So I've calibrated it. That's all I've done is just calibrated it. Um, so these are settings. So I've got a strength of 10, which is I probably normally drive when I do on iRacing with the CSL DD between 8 and 10. It all depends what car it is. Um, I have noticed if I leave it on auto for the wheel force, it drops it down to 8. So I'll take that off and put that back up to that. So right, let's go on track and have a go at this. So we're at the Nürburgring in the Audi R8. So um, let's get back on track. Ooh. I probably should have picked a car that I've driven before. I haven't driven this one. I only got it recently when I had some friends coming around. I know one of them wanted to have a go at this and this car, so. Trying to change the black box at the same time. No, that's not wanted. What I want. Waiting for the. Right, let's see if we can. I'm just looking at the. Force feedback strength and sit waiting for that to turn to auto and see what I racing reckons I ought to put it onto. Oh, 9.7, that's probably a bit better actually. Right.
suppose we need to aim for some curbs and things now. Yep. Maybe not that much grass for trying to do stupid things to hear and see what comes the feedback I get so did that on purpose. Yeah, there's a lot more, lot more detail going through there than the DSL DD. So. Oh, I've not gone up again. Yeah, that's just bad driving on my part. I mean, you could feel a lot of de detail with the CSL. DD. But this is it's that next step. Yeah, okay. Um I'm impressed. I I I'd kind of not really thought about it too much. I, I kind of obviously bought this with my own money. Um I was expecting a step of, of some sort, but I really wasn't sure what that step would be. Adding that extra four newton meters of down, uh, force, it's just putting that much more detail into the wheel. I wasn't expecting it to be as much as what I'm finding. So, yeah, I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, and, and I can say once again, you know, kind of, yes, I know Fanatec have been not doing too well at the moment recently um they kind of let a lot of people down i can totally understand where people are getting angry with that but like i said i ordered this last monday and it turned up yesterday so yeah that is they've improved on that i also sent them a, an email asking them about uh, one of their wheels um a, a possible future purchase and i got a reply back within four hours if if not less um, so that, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be a, a, a day or two with how everything's been going over there. Um, and yes, I could have looked into moving into a new ecosystem with another company, but I know what I was dealing with. So I kind of thought, well, you know, blow it. I mean, we'll give it a go. Um, yes, I haven't had to send anything back to them for repair or anything, so I can't comment on that. But what I've got in front of me now is that's turned up. 
yes, I was expecting a, a step. I wasn't, to be honest with you, I don't think I was expecting such a big step as what I've got. Um, whether that's naive of me, because you think that, you know, that step is actually equivalent to half a CSL DD. Um, yeah. I, I'm, yes, I'm impressed. And yes, I've got some fizzing around to do to get the, the, the force feedback, just how I like and things like that. But on first impressions, I'm not disappointed with my purchase, if that's the best way of kind of saying, yes, I'm happy. Um, so on that note, I think we'll, we can stop and say, you know, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you want to follow me in, you know, the world of sim racing, then think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So once again, thanks again for watching and see you soon. Bye.